In Six Sigma, sometimes we want to find out if one thing uh, is causing another. So we're going to find out if there's some correlation between one thing and another. And in this case, we want to look at an example. And you can do this any way you want. Often this is called the X's and Y's. And so our X is cutting speed, and does it affect tool life in minutes? And so what we want to do is select that data. And we could actually take that and draw a scatter plot. And that's going to start to show us that it looks like there's a, a, a linkage here. And there's an R squared that says it's greater than 0.8. So that looks like there's probably something going on there. Now we could come back to our data, click on the QI macros, and actually go down and do regression analysis. Now you can do single aggression or you can do multiple aggression regression. And so here's our result. And essentially what it's saying here is it's comparing these two and seeing if they fit. So uh, R squared value is greater than 0.8, so it's a good fit between cutting speed and tool life. And the adjusted R square is 0.8, so that's still a goodness of fit. And our p-value here in the regression analysis, um, essentially, normally, the, the null hypothesis is that there's uh, no connection. And so in this case, we can definitely reject that and say, yes, there is a connection uh, correlation between these two things. So that's going to tell us that, yes, tool life in minutes is affected by cutting speed. Now we could do the same sort of thing only with multiple X's. So here's green strength in pounds and hydraulic pressure in pounds and how it affects acid concentration as a percent of normal rate. So this is really our Y value here and we have two X's. So we can take that data and take that and run it against the uh, regression analysis. It'll take and it'll ask you are the Y values in the first or the last column because sometimes they're in one column or the other and go ahead and do our analysis. And our p-value here, there's really not a good fit. Okay, So these two things aren't really affecting acid concentration. So we'd reject our, you know, we'd, we'd accept the fact that there's no real correlation between the green strength, the hydraulic pressure, and the acid concentration. We could also take that data and draw uh, what's called a matrix plot. And the matrix plot is going to draw connect all these various things and we'd be looking for some sort of uh, you know kind of like machine gun plot in here to say that yes indeed there's there's some relationship here uh, but green strength against green strength these things really aren't if green strength isn't affecting hydraulic pressure or anything like that so that's how we go about doing some statistical analysis using the QI macros and we can get very quickly to something that tells us where yes indeed there is a relationship or no there's not and then we can investigate that and decide how we want to adjust our process to get the results we want using regression analysis. You can download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from QIMacros.com.